Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another awesome color grading tutorial. Aram Case here and today I'm gonna show you how to achieve that look from the John Wick, the first part when he was shooting everybody in the club. So let's cut to the chase and get straight to business. And I have this uh, footage over here from what appears to be some kind of a nightclub that I downloaded from red.com and you guys can go ahead and download yourself that way you can follow the tutorial and play around with it anyways so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna go in the camera raw over here and I'm gonna change the gamma curve to red lock film and as you can see I already set this up so we have that out of our way and next I'm just gonna keep this note blank a little bit <clears throat> that way just in case I need to come back and do something I can always have that ability. So I'm gonna convert everything into a parallel note and the first thing I'm gonna do is work for exposure. And with exposure, all I'm gonna do is just crush the blacks just a little bit. Okay, as we can see, John Wick pretty crushed actually. It's right on the line. So I'm gonna follow similar concept. Okay, just like that. All right, looks perfect. And as we can see, this footage is very grainy, which is actually very typical from the red footage. But we're gonna work around this issue and find out what we can do. All right, so first part is done. It's kind of dark and nice. Now, let me go into vector scope. Let's see. I can see a little bit better show the skin tone okay so like that looks great and let's see what are we looking at well obviously that red line on vector scope is over here where he had something in the background let me see if I have anything red like that going on or just orange okay I guess let's stick around with with orange like this and this line is basically cyan okay so let's see his is not too saturated until this point and then a little bit gets all the way to actual cyan so how we're gonna do this well there's one way so let's call this I guess we're gonna call this teal and I'm gonna go into qualifier and I'm only gonna be qualifying saturation so let's see over here luminance okay so I don't need hue I don't need luminance I'm only gonna be doing saturation so let's see we can kind of see where we at or oh, actually I need to do another way around I'm sorry okay just like that so from the high let's kind of okay and as you can see over here is the most saturated little circle so I'm gonna keep it like that okay very nice let's make it oops I keep doing the wrong parameter let's soften it a little bit that way we have a nice roll-off and let's really quick compare it to John Wick okay so that looks nice and everything else now within this color and I probably also should specify that over here let's see center da -da 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 -da. okay let's move this thing around let's see let me make sure that we're only working in this kind of little space okay just like that okay let's do actually in this case let's do clean black okay for the tutorial it's fine we're gonna have a little bit of noise going on but I don't want to spend too much time refining it that way you guys are gonna be all bored okay so our blue or teal is pretty much identical here Okay, now with this flexibility, I can actually change the color pretty much and it's going to help me to match it to the John Wick actual look. 
so let's see here it's pretty much right on the line just exactly what I have over here okay so that looks great but what about the part that actually very saturated so let me create another node and here I'm gonna be doing only the saturated part okay let's see okay just like this okay let's make sure we have nice and soft all right so here's the part let's go into John Wick and we can see that little curve right over there and basically I can achieve that curve either with the regular color wheels or I can go into tint and I can sort of play around with it with the with the tint thingy and we can dial it just like that so let's give it a little bit more saturation and in the tint let's see if I can get it on the money let's see the temperature okay just like that okay so let's see what we have we start getting the same tonality like over here and over here so we're actually getting there very close now one thing um, I'm noticing and again forgive me if it's not 100% accurate I downloaded this picture from the web um, it looks like his shadows or blacks in general are pretty contrasted so let me go back actually let me rename this saturated wheel I don't know if you, that makes sense all right and I'm going to again with a qualifier select the darkest actually I'm sorry losing my mind I'm losing my mind here okay so I'm gonna select the darkest okay so something like this let's make sure that nice soft roll-off let's do clean whites and uh, you know just so you guys know there's a lot of alternative methods of doing this again I didn't prepare any tutorial I woke up this morning and I figured hey you know I'm gonna do John Wick tutorial today so as usual I don't really prepare my tutorials I try to be kind of spontaneous about it um, let's do clean white let's do clean black a little bit okay again it's fine tutorial really quick and what I'm gonna do now let's see let's go back to the to the parade that way we can see a little bit better I'm just going to add more contrast to black okay let's see all right perfect so we really start getting there so we getting pretty much now almost identical look of the John Wick the only thing we're missing is the little red flare but unfortunately I don't have anything red going on um, in the background like over here but one thing I can do for sure is clean up a little bit of noise because whenever you do key work and I actually can see the screwed up of, of our key there's a lot of artifacts going on that's why I always like to keep the first note open that way just in case I can come back to it and do adjustments whatever I need so since I'm here let me crank it up a little bit I'm doing a little bit more than I should and let's do about 10 let's see really quick before and after now it did clean up a little bit but not too well let's try this let's see if this is going to handle it okay not perfect okay well looks like da vinci built-in noise reduction doesn't really handle it too well so let's reset selected note and let me flip it again well welcome to da vinci beta it's not it's not doing it anymore all right let's try to do in this one now let's see if I click here okay can I rotate it 
Okay, well, I guess this is the Vinci Resolve beta for you. Things don't always uh, <laughs> work as they should, so I'm kind of stuck in the upside down mode. Well, anyway, since this tutorial is almost over, I just want to show you really quick. I guess I, I don't need this note. Uh, really quick, the power of the neat video in this particular situation. So if I'm going to go here and I find... Uh, da -da 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 -da. And by the way, I did have everything in favorites, the, the plugins that I like. But for some reason, they don't show up, so... It's okay. It's a it's a beta. We can we can work around it. All right. So here we are in the neat video, and I'm going to select the most neutral area of the image. So something like that. That way it has basically a nice gradient. I'm gonna do auto profile. Okay. Let's see. And I'm gonna click apply, and look at the difference. Look before and after. And, you know, not by any means I'm trying to advertise neat video, you know, it's not being sponsored product or anything. I just want to show you guys how awesome the plugin is and in situations where DaVinci built-in noise reduction can handle things like that, neat video is always out there. And by the way, the Blackmagic Design actual noise reduction is very, very powerful and in many cases it does amazing job. But sometimes when you have noise severe like this, neat video is really, really shines out there. Anyways, so that's pretty much it. It's pretty basic since it's a nightclub. Um, in the future, I'm going to try to find the footage that matches actual maybe John Wick throughout the daylight or some different shots outside the nightclub. That way we can sort of play around with it and do more detailed look. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, check out my Facebook page, and I will see you soon.